here comes a real Bavarian delicatesse. And the one thing you need most for that is patience. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen here in Munich, Germany. Today's recipe is something I really love because it's one of the grand old recipes from Bavaria and from Austria. It's called Tafelspitz and it comes with a horseradish sauce. And it's quite an easy recipe, um, but two things are really, really important. The one thing is patience and the other thing is some really good beef. Okay, what else do we need? Here's my beef, it's a large piece and a wonderful one. Then we have um, a couple of bay leaves. We need cloves. Here are onions and leek. And I will need a quarter of this celery. That's all what we need for cooking the beef. Then we have the horseradish sauce. First of all, we need horseradish for that. That is horseradish I have, I have from my garden. <clears throat> um, I need an apple. I need salt and pepper, of course. This is a lemon, as you can see. Some butter, flour, and final milk. And when we're gonna garnish it at the end, I will need a little bit of parsley. So that's all we need, and now we can get started. For me, this is the grand lady of the beef recipes. It's so traditional and so classic. And it's definitely something that you prepare when you want to have a fantastic dinner with a lot of people you love. Okay, first of all, we have to prepare um, all the vegetables, which we will need for the broth. Because the special thing about Tafelspitz is the fact that it's being boiled. It's not gonna be pan fried, though there is a pan here, which will <coughs> be needed first. It's not really important how many onions you will take. <clears throat> it's between one and four. I have a couple of very small ones here. And uh, so I take a bit more onions. Just cut it roughly. I will need these ones for the pan later on. I will show you. Okay, let's get a piece of the celery. <clears throat> I like celery. That gives the broth a real good taste. We're gonna have plenty of vegetables because in the end we want to have a real good broth in which we boil um, the meat. And I would suggest not to take any kind of instant broth for this recipe. Um, do this little bit of work and uh, make a real good one because the piece of meat we have is a good one too, an expensive one, and um, this is a recipe you will prepare for people that are really somebody's in your lives that are really important. Okay. I have I've looked in one of my books to clearly show you which pieces of meat you can take. Uh, the one thing is, uh, of course, the Tafelspitz itself. Yeah, that's the piece of meat you have here in the back end of the cow, which is number 19 in this graphics. Or 
uh, you can take the Bürgermeisterstück, the mayor's piece. I think the English word for that is tri-tip. And that comes from somewhere around this area. It's not clearly described in this graphics. But these are the two different pieces that you can easily use for the Tafelspitz. I will cut these onions in half and put them in the pan. There's no oil, no fat in here, just the pan getting really hot and my two onions because I'm starting to burn them now. Um, in the end, the dark color of the onions that I produce now is gonna bring the color and some, some special aroma into my, my broth or my stock in which I boil the meat. have to have close eye on that because of course we don't want to burn it completely but we want to have these aromas and if you could smell it oh, you would know this is gonna be good <laughs> mm. yeah. okay this is okay now take this off the heat and directly put it into this pot You see, this is really dark here, and that is what I want to have. Here comes my piece of meat. Say goodbye to the world. You see, there's a nice little bit of fat around here. All the cut vegetable, I put it in here, you see. Take a look. And now I cover this all. I cover all of this with cold water. I take so much water that the meat is covered well. See? A couple of liters, and uh, the whole piece of meat is underwater now. Okay. And now, I bring all this to boil. Oh, haha, <clears throat> of course I've forgotten a couple of things. <laughs> I have cloves. I take three or four or five cloves, four is okay. And bay leaves, I have three here, that should be nice. And we can Put some salt into it already. Some pepper. And then I'm going to bring this to boil. All right. Okay, this is cooking properly now. Wonderful. And now I'm going to reduce the heat and let this simmer. It's not supposed to be really cooking heavily, just around 90-95 degrees Celsius. And I will leave this in the pot simmering for at least two hours. And that is why you need patience. Okay, while this is cooking slowly, we can do two things. I can prepare the sauce and you can subscribe my channel. And if you even click the little bell, then you will never miss a new video when we post one. All right? Okay, first of all, I peel the apple. We have to peel it because this is gonna be a real white sauce. So we don't wanna have any green or uh, red parts in it from the apple skin. Okay. Good. It's very fast. All right, grated apple. And I will grate the horseradish. Let me see which one is the best for that. 
Ghost Rage is really strong, so I don't think that I will need too much. This thing is originally made for Parmesan, but it works with a horseradish too. Nevertheless, it's a little work. Okay, I have to care about the apple before it gets brown. Means take it. Mm. Good one. That's why I need the lemon. Cause a drizzle. The lemon juice above. Stir it well. This keeps the apple away from getting brown because I will need a couple more minutes for my sauce. The base for the sauce is a white roux. That means I will take a good piece of butter and let it melt. I must have to look that it doesn't burn <clears throat> because the sauce is meant to stay white so we don't want to have a brown butter that happens easily if you don't look at it okay now the butter is hot and I start to pour some flour into it Oops, I make a mess. All right. We have to work properly here because we don't want to have any, um, any blocks in it. We have to solve the flour in the butter properly and let this get some heat. is starting to get bubbles it's hot that's what we want now but I don't stop steering because I don't want it to burn but as it is cooking it's thickening <clears throat> and that's the effect I want to cause okay this is nice now. I start adding the milk and I do this little by little. Maybe that was even a bit too much flour because I will have, I will end up having <laughs> two liters of sauce. <laughs> I don't need that much. If I have too much, I will I will throw a bit of that away or put it aside for another sauce. Let's bring this to boil to see um, if the consistency is all right. Okay, now the sauce is boiling, and as you can see, it's really really creamy, and uh, it might be a bit uh, more sticky than other sauces you are used to but I want to have this creamy consistency. And now I'm adding the apple. And the horseradish. Mix it all, I can turn the heat down now. And that is all. The sauce is ready to serve now. Now let's have a look. Wow. Ooh. Mm. Brilliant aroma. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't see anything. Let's take this out. Here we go. I'll take the onions away. I'll let this rest for a couple of minutes so that it can relax from the cooking process. Put this aside for a while. 
All right. Actually, this is two dishes in one. Of course, you have the Tafelspitz uh, with the horseradish sauce, but the leftovers are fantastic the other day because you don't throw away the water in which you cook the beef. That is a fantastic soup. Um, you just fish out the old vegetables and you put in new ones like leek rings, uh, slices of carrots, pieces of boiled potatoes, plus the rest of your meat. You cut it into small pieces, put it into that and you have a fantastic, wonderful stew. Meanwhile, I've cooked uh, a couple of potatoes because that's tradition to have it with boiled potatoes. So as you can see, this is a real plain and simple thing. Just the meat, which is tender, which is of a high quality, the very plain and white uh, sauce, which is, uh, has quite some aroma from the horseradish, um, but that goes very good with the soft and tender meat, and just some potatoes, and that is all. Now let me have a look. Mm. Cut it in, in really thin slices. Oh, look how soft that is. Mmm. Great. I'm happy with the result. Yeah, that looks good. Mmm. See how tender and, and nice this is? You won't even need, need a knife in the end if you want to eat it. That's perfect. That's the way it's meant to be. All right. Take a couple of slices. And I'm gonna add a little of my sauce. Here we go. There's Tafelspitz with horseradish sauce. You have to try that out because that is really something very, very good. And I hope you enjoy my films, my videos, and uh, hope to see you again. And please subscribe my channel. And maybe you even tell your friends about it or share the links on your Facebook or Twitter accounts. All right, hope to see you soon. Take care, bye.